now forewarn weather with exact track 4d radar exclusive technology for the most up-to-the-minute weather information in your neighborhood Kim is here to talk about a few soggy days ahead, yeah. but today is still amazing. Right? right? I'm just going to look at the good side. One more. The bright side, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm always, I thought I was a, ha a glass half full girl, but I do enjoy a rainy day once in a while. It is nice. Is I it get okay? a book. Yeah. Like, right? Is it okay, Karen? Is it okay? Am I still we can positive? Take a break every so often. <laughs> Am I still positive? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just kind of like that yeah. sometimes. Unless you're on a soccer field and it's all muddy. <laughs> Unless you're a, a baseball field. Exactly. Or, yes, everyone's starting their sports activities right now, so those rainy days aren't great. Uh, it will dry out though for at least the first part of the weekend and Sunday's not looking too bad either but 64 in Detroit right now mid 60s in Howell 65 in Lapeer and 61 in Monroe. Sunsets tonight at 810 and comes up tomorrow before 7 a.m. 658 as we get all that daylight and a lot of sunshine for today but clouds have already started to roll in and it will be a soggy setup for Thursday and Friday. Friday is also going to be windy. Tomorrow we'll just call it breezy about 10 to 20 miles per hour but by Friday those winds will gust over 45 miles per hour add some rain and temps in the 50s and it's just going to be a damp and rather chilly day. 64 downtown also in Mount Clemens and Pontiac 63 Metro 66 in Ann Arbor. Well we have had a few clouds a lot of those thin clouds uh, high clouds, but more and more lower clouds, mid-level and low-level clouds will be filling in over the net last, next several hours. And the rain is down to our south in Indianapolis and also into Columbus. That rain won't make it here, though, until midnight tonight. So if you do have those outdoor activities, it might look like it's about to rain as those clouds move in before sunset, uh, but it's not. It'll be dry. Midnight tonight, though, rain comes up from the south. And watch what happens by your morning commute. Around 5 or 6 a.m., widespread showers, heavy at times. In fact, some pockets of pretty decent rainfall. We could get as much as one to two inches of rain over the next couple of days. So noon tomorrow, still raining. We might have a break here and there before more rain comes in later in the day and that rain continues all the way through the morning commute on Friday and even into the evening commute Friday. And then watch what happens with our temps. So 62 tomorrow, but Friday we briefly dip back below normal, which is now the average is 57. And then we pull back up by Sunday. Well, we're not quite done with the 70s yet. We hit 71. 49 overnight tonight with rain developing after midnight. And then for tomorrow, 62 degrees, rain chances through the entire day, possibility of some storms in the afternoon and evening, winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Future forecast, lots of sunshine for Saturday. Then on Sunday, increasing clouds, and we do have a slight chance of a shower throughout the day, but it does not look like it will be a washout for the second half of the weekend. Karen?